Hi everyone, if you're watching this video, I hope that you finished my previous section on truth tables in propositional logic. In this section, I'm going to be covering natural deduction in propositional logic. Now, you may be wondering exactly what is natural deduction. Well, uh, in the history of logic, logicians, uh, they developed uh, this thing uh, called propositional logic to examine the logic of propositions. This is different than uh, the old categorical or syllogistic logic that Aristotle had. And so what they realized is that um, they could come up with certain rules for uh, testing whether arguments uh, are valid. Now, uh, what are the advantages of this over truth tables? Well, uh, when you write a, a proof, um, if you've ever taken a class in geometry, when, when you write a proof, um, you, c you justify everything, it's very clear, it's very ordered, it's really easy to read, whereas truth tables can get really, really messy. Um, so you might be wondering, well, if truth tables have all these problems associated with them, why did we learn truth tables in the first place? Well, there's a good reason. Um, you can't prove that arguments are invalid in natural dedu deduction. You can only prove that they're valid. So if an argument is invalid and you uh, keep trying to deal with natural deduction alone, there's no way you can prove that it's invalid. Um, and so for that, you have to go back to truth tables, which is why we learned them first. So in natural deduction, we have 18 rules uh, of inference. Uh, the first eight are called the rules of implication. And that's because uh, the the all all the rules are written in um, uh, all the rules of replacement, uh, all the rules of uh, inference. I mean, <laughs> all of the rules of implication. That's that's what I meant. Are written in argument form, and so their arguments imply their conclusion. That's why they're called the rules of implication. Now, the last ten rules are called the rules of replacement, and the rules of replacement are essentially logically equivalent statements, which means that they share the same truth values. We uh, they share the same truth values on every line as we covered in uh, the last section uh, when we were comparing and classifying statements. And so we know that if we have, if two statements are logically equivalent, then we can substitute one for the other. So in the following videos, we're going to be covering the 18 rules of inference, and then we're also going to be covering uh, how to do um, conditional and indirect proofs. And uh, and then after that, uh, I think we'll uh, be done with the section. So um, I'm going to be introducing you the rules, starting with the first four, and then two after that in each following video. So uh, see you guys then.